especially summertime. As you can see, Dale Loki. Loki Dale. Yeah. How are you going to call him? Dale Loki. <laughs> <laughs> okay, summertime. So, welcome back, guys. We just got a quick little video for you guys. We we're going to show you some hot summer treats. Are you ready? Yes, I am. We're super hungry. We're actually going to head over to the studio. Peter and Co, which before everything started reopening, yep. you had to do mobile order over um, the Hollywood Lounge. Thank you. But now everything's you know going back to the way it was, so now we can go and grab our food there. And we're also going to head over to the Queen Back with the Munda and grab a pizza and some caffeine because I am super tired. Yes. So we have a long day today. Yep. We've got a couple of fun things planned. I'm going to need some coffee. Yep. All right, let's go get some food. All righty. Okay guys, so over at the Studio Catering Co, we came across the Backlot Bundle, which is $25, so $24.99. Do you, we get a annual discount or legacy discount? I, yes, you do. Okay, cool. All right, so we have a choice of a taco plate, a nacho, a nacho plate, a slush, and the Rocket and Groot uh, Strock Lip with a choice of fountain beverage. Mm -hmm. So we got Cherry Coke. Yep. We got the, oh, and we actually, misread it we didn't see that we actually got a slush so we got the pine or took the pineapple one and then we also got the strawberry lemonade slush yes tastes like strawberry lemonade <laughs> <laughs> it's so good though Ooh. okay so when we first thought of if we were gonna get the pineapple or chata, we were kind of thrown off because pineapple or chata, yeah this is good <laughs> there's not a lot of pineapple uh -huh. There's just enough pineapple there that complements with the cinnamon and the horchata and everything. Gotcha. I gotta say, I like it. Yeah? Mm-hmm. No, it's not like fresh. Mm -hmm. Um, Orchata, it tastes very synthetic. Yes. So, but it reminded me a lot of the horchata churro, which I said we miss. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. I recommend it. This one is $5.49. Gotcha. Actually, they're both $5.49. So remember, if you get the bundle, Mm -hmm. Um, you actually get a slushy and a drink, a fountain drink. Gotcha. Okay, let's try the taco. Like we got carnitas, so you had the choice of? Chicken, um, carnitas, or the potato and soy chorizo. So we chose carnitas, and then we chose chicken for the nachos. Gotcha. Mmm. How's it? Okay. Okay. I'm so happy with this one, I'll tell you why. Yes. The, sa the salsa mm -hmm. is spicy. Not spicy where you're like, I'm about to die. Yeah. But spicy where it gives the taco a great flavor. The like carnitas oh, cool. are nice and fresh and juicy. Um, usually sometimes carnitas can be really dry. Mm -hmm. These ones are juicy, they're fresh, the lunch is fresh, onions fresh. Your, your lime on top, it's just perfection. And that salsa, perfect. Try the nacho, nacho original nachos. Yes. The chicken here is like a lime chicken, mm. which, the, which is why it looks like that. Mm. Not my favorite type of looking chicken, but. So this like chipotle crema is very similar to the one they use at the lobster nachos. Gotcha. The difference between these nachos is like they use cheese sauce, mm. whereas other nachos they just put like the mixture of the, the cheddar blend gotcha. or the cheese blend and yeah. then it melts because they're hot. Yeah. They're, they're not bad, but if I would have to pick, it would be the carnitas tacos. Gotcha. Mm. Very different. I'm gonna steal your sauce, okay? Mm. Back in the day, this place was decorated kind of like Monsters Inc. or Monsters University, I should say. And then it turned into New York, where you can meet Spider-Man. But this is awesome. They did Stan's Heroes New York Deli. A little mod to Stan Lee. That's really cool. You can find it right here, where you meet Spider-Man. 
Right now they're not doing meet and greets, but this is actually the place where you used to meet them before. This is an exit in what looks like an entrance now to Avenger Campus. Right next to the Hyperion, and you come down Hollywood or Sunset Boulevard or Hollywood Boulevard. And it is open. There's a walkthrough open. Alright, so since capacity has increased, they have also increased capacity inside Avengers Campus. It's a lot easier now to get in. You don't need to get a boarding pass yes. to make it easier to get in. Now it's just open up for everyone. But you still need a boarding pass for web fingers. Yes, you still need a boarding pass for that. For that attraction, you do. But if you want to go in and grab some food or just walk and go and see, there you go. Yep. A lot easier. Yep. All right, now on this sunny uh, summer day, we are exiting from Hollywoodland and we're going to head over to uh, Pacific Wharf, where we're going to go get some delicious hot treats. Very hot, on a hot day. <laughs> Over Casino Cucamonga. All right. Okay, so my take on lunch, on the first street, it was delicious. Um, that chipotle crema and the, the uh, cheese sauce, yeah. it has chipotle in it too because it's a little spicy, yeah. but it's, it's really good. I still think the tacos were better. What do you think? I don't, I don't agree with you that tacos were better. Yeah, they're really, really good. And also, the academy is now open. Yep. So today we have the citizens of Buena Vista. They are back. Okay, so it's a little loud because the waterfall's right here, but as you can see, free for all, you can come in. They're not even checking boarding passes because they haven't hit capacity yet. So it's, I want to say roughly 1, 130, 145? Yeah, I would say uh, like on, a, a, on a Wednesday, I what it looks like. Oh, 2 o'clock on a Wednesday. Not bad. Yeah. Okay, take a look at this. Over the Casino of Gamonga, we found the Casaviria. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, okay. Enough filling. It needs a little more cheese, but it's good. Oh my goodness. Let's give it a go. Now, these became really famous, and we also have. It also comes with a side of consomme for eleven forty nine. Let's take a bite first and some salsa. Mm. Is it right? I got twelve too. Sometimes there is a hit and miss. Sometimes they season it well, sometimes they don't. It's missing a little salt. Gotcha. But let's dunk it in the consomme. You are really excited for Yes. It? Need salt. Need yeah, salt? Right. Both? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So the consomme is the broth of the beef. Yes. They make it in a huge pot. And they take out the beef. They make the quesadilla, And then they sell the consomme. I will tell you that it's a little cold. Because you can start seeing the fat particles on the top. Uh, but... I thought it was a veggie. It's warm enough that it's still warm, but I was right. No, I'm sorry, but un unseasoned consomme is not good. It's a little better. Gotcha. I've had better birrias. Yeah. Well, 12 bucks, it's not bad. You do get a discount, um, but I, I would just keep these. I mean, even the carnitas tacos were better. Mm. That's a shame. Mm -hmm. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> All right, showcasing my brother trying this one out. So the salsa is not, it's not, it's not spicy at all. Yeah, it, it's gives, not. it gives the flavor to the media. Yeah. What do you think? Um, uh, they're all right. One to ten, what would you rate it? One to ten? I guess like a seven. Yeah, for me it would be a six. Just because the flavor, it has potential. Yeah. Um, just needs a little more salt. Yeah. And this one definitely needs to be warmer. And, and I get it, they're sitting out there so it's easy to go. Mm -hmm. um, you know, serve you a quick 
but a consomme is something that needs to be eat, eaten hot. Yes. Because otherwise you can start tasting the fat. Yes. And the starch. Yeah. So that's a shame for that one. Yeah. But this one's a six. Carnitas tacos are a nine for sure. Mm -hmm. Well done, studio catering truck. Yes. Good job, guys. Cast members, you get this from me today. <laughs> All right. And we still have a couple slushies. Yep. All right, on to the next street. Mm -hmm. And since it's summertime, why don't we go inside Tomatoes? All right, guys, on opening day of Avengers Campus, I did tell you that Tomatoes was right in front of Web Slingers. And as you can see, yes, it is. Wonder if this is a good spot to see the show, too. Probably can. It is. Look, you can see the flag of Web Slingers. Yep. There's Avengers Campus. That's how close it is to Carsland. Yep. All right, let's see how you drive. Alrighty. That didn't sound too comfortable. <laughs> too confident. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we find this new building here. This is like very interesting. It makes you feel like very fast passy, don't you think? So right here's the uh, board. It tells you the web slingers or uh, the virtue queue is already um, not concluded but it's telling you one of the partner groups. And you see the little tent here. It makes me feel like they're like there are machines to, to dispense uh, the fast pass. Even at the sign says fast pass has concluded for today. So I wonder like they're gonna be cast members on uh, with their phones or with their tablets. And um, virtual fast -fast yeah, virtual fast pass thing. Because they even have ropes and have equipment and stuff. And even have like a little queue here we can walk through. Something definitely for later on. During the years yeah. or the yeah. As we said, uh, everything is open to the public. There's no line, you can walk up anytime you want. But you do need a boarding group or for the web fingers. Alright. Continue on. Hello there, Mr. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Mm -hmm. Okay, can we just start by saying, look at this? This is the pizza. I don't, mau, know, mau. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Mau, mau, mau. The pizza on Mau Wow. Bloody Mary. Um, it has Bloody Mary <laughs> with the slice of pizza. So I'm not a huge fan of Bloody Mary, so my brother will do the honors of this one. You mean artichoke parts? Not bad, but not my favorite. The, the <laughs> I, really want, warm. I really wanted the pizza. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's all I wanted. It's really good school pizza. Is it cheese pizza? Mm, yes. I thought it was pepperoni. Oh, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was pepperoni with tomato sauce. It tastes like school pizza. Well, technically it is school pizza because it's taking you to school. 
learning the history of California Adventure. I mean, you know, a little pointer everywhere I go. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of Little Mary, so all I'm gonna say is it's good, but it's just. I think the reason I'm not a huge fan of Little Mary is because I'm not a huge fan of tomato, except in pizza. I see how this. Is. But I will eat all the pepperoncinis and the peppers and the olives and the skewer. Gotcha. You can have the rest. Yeah. If you guys um, saw our previous vlog when we came here, but we ended up getting the full menu last time and we came to get our favorites. You got the Moholan meatballs mm -hmm. and I got the cauliflower ceviche, which is delicious. Yep. All right. We'll show them to you once we, if they come out here. But there's an item that you get that we last time we did not get and those were our passholder straws. Mm -hmm. That's the whole reason we came here. Yep. Nothing else. Nothing else. Not even for the food. No, for our straws. <laughs> nothing in particular. Alright, like we said, you got the Mahalan meatballs. Very good choice. And then I got the cauliflower ceviche with the habanero mango sauce. I'll put my ceviche here so that way I can add my sauce. Okay. And then you have it like that. And you also get a side of chips. Yep. Let's begin. Alright. All right, guys, so these are the bamboos that they have here last time. Um, I guess they had them since they started the legacy dining here, but they probably sold out or they ran out or we just didn't end up getting them. Mm. But here they are. We finally got them. That's the whole reason we came. Yep. And then our passes and we was okay. We was delicious as always. Mm. What's your verdict on the Blood Mary now? Now, um... Like personally, like like my sister says, we're not big alcohol drinkers. Yeah. Uh, and to my personal perspective, I don't think tomato juice goes well with alcohol because <laughs> either you have tomato juice or alcohol. So yeah. I rather have the tomato juice. I really wanted the picture <laughs> and the pizza. It was fun. It was it was fun coming back. Uh, we were able to find reservations for the alfresco dining, and now it's time to check out. All right. Maybe we should get a little treat. Okay. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a blue, it's a, the moon looks a little reddish. The Bloody Moon or a Bloody Mary. Ooh. So we have Mary Manfrano and we have Neverland Sunset Tea. Mm -hmm. That's it for today on finding some hot treats over at DCA. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to check us out over at Fracking the Perfect Every Fight. Don't forget the underscores. We'll see you next time. And we'll see you at the next video. Yep. Bye bye. Bye. And you guys were wondering what the Neverland Sunset has. I'll write it down in the description. All right. But you could just go over to the cast member and ask them for Neverland Sunset, and they know the recipe.